Let me give you an explanation of an inflection point. So imagine you're standing at the origin at, at x equals zero. If you differentiate it, it tells you the gradient. Differentiate it again, it will give you um, the concavity. Same with over here. Differentiate it, it will give you the gradient. Differentiate it again, it will give you the concavity. Here, an inflection point exists. Here, it doesn't exist. Let's, let's try and understand why. So, when, when you're standing here, the gradient would be zero. The concavity is, um, is, is 6x. So, if you were to draw a graph, imagine y equals, um, equals 6x. It would look something like this. Over here, imagine, imagine this is like y equals 12x squared. So when you draw a graph of concavity versus x, for this one, it will look something like this. So you see, an inflection point exists when concave down meets concave up. So, uh, so if, if you're standing here just to the left, the concavity is negative. So if you're standing here, the concavity is negative, meaning it's concaving down, and then Dead on the origin, there, uh, the concavity is zero. The concavity is zero. The concavity over here is actually zero, dead on x equals zero. But the difference here is that here it's concaving down. That's why it's on the negative side. And, uh, and here it's concaving up. An inflection point exists when, when the negative concavity meets the positive concavity and it's dead on zero. Uh, dead at the point that you're investigating. So here, if you're standing just to the left of, uh, of x equals zero, it's concaving upwards. And then just to the right, it's also concaving upwards. So here, negative, negative doesn't meet positive. So, um, so here, the inflection point doesn't exist. Here it does. So remember, an inflection point exists when, when the second derivative equals zero and Con concave down meets concave up. Here it doesn't exist because it's concaving up and it's concaving up. So here uh, the inflection point doesn't exist, here it does. Okay?